So I've been asked in Discord and in the comments for a quick tutorial on how to mod the background of Shellshock. Uh, so I'm going to go over that as quickly as I can. So if you want to go from this to this, follow these steps. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to your original files. Type in LB. This is the easiest way of doing it. We just get rid of these uh, mountains. Go to your modded files. We paste. I'm going to open the first one with Inkscape. But again, you can use whatever you wish. I just prefer it. I'm going to draw a box around this. We keep it the same size, of course. 1000 by 500. I will export it. And I'm going to call that the first file. And as these are all the same size, we can do that for each one. So now we can now we've saved all them we can close out and we have our background mountains whatever you want to call them i don't care call them what you want go back to original call uh, we go for background the background that you want is the 1000 by 1000 background we copy this we take it back to our modded we Paste, open in Inkscape again. We make another box. Again, a transparent box. This is just the way I do it. You might find it easier to do it a different way. This is just my way of doing it. But then I, I know that I've got this box that is the same height, width as the original. So now go to your, whichever image that you want to use. I'm just choosing this one for now. Quite a big image. So what you're going to want to do, you want to lock the ratio. <clears throat> and there'll be many ways of doing this in whatever program you do. But all this does is it will change the height based on what the width is. So it will keep the ratio. So as ours is 1000 wide, it's going to take it down to 563, which isn't a bad height for the background. But something else that you'll want to do is make a copy of this image and flip it. So if you put that on top now and drop it down a pixel just so it matches, so now we have we have a full image, uh, but you're not going to be able to see all, all this top bit. It's just so you don't get a black band across the top of your image. It mixes in really well. We will export this as the background. We will save it. And notice that I'm not saving both images, I'm saving the 1000 by 1000 box. So now that is done, close without saving because I don't want to keep it. So we go to bundle extractor, we open the, the files that we're going to want, keep going to the wrong one, shell shop light, live data, we get all of these assets, resources, assets. This one, this one, and I think that's it. Looks about right. Oh. We open them. We type in 
da OV da. And we okay it. I'm gonna go and click the type as well. We'll do this again. So that's game object. We go through. Go through. These are sprites. We don't want sprites. We want Oh, I've gone too far. Wait till it says texture. There we go. Plugins. Edit. Load. Go to your modded. Make sure the names are correct. So this is one, one, two. Which is that one? Open. Okay. We go on to the next one. Load. This is two two. Uh, level three. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And that's it. So we've done all those now. Uh, we're going to cancel that because we're going to search by name. Background. The background can get. There's a few that's called backgrounds. You don't want the mono. We go through. You don't want sprite. We go through. Sprite. This texture. Uh, we go to the view data on this one. So this is 1000 by 1000. That's the one that we want. There is another one. Which is this one. Which is 1024 by 512. We don't want that one. We want the one that I've just had. So we're going to search up. And it's going to be. Hold on. I've lost myself. Not that one. It should be this one. So you go to view data. Called background. But as long as the width and height is 1000, then you're all good. Plugins. Plugins. Edit. Load your background. And we're going to save these. So we save all of these. Then we go back to modded. Go back to the modded. We're going to just put them in there for now. And then take all of these, drag them into here, and we re uh, replace them. So hopefully now, when you start the game, firing range, and there's your background. So that's it. Keeps the aspect ratio, doesn't stretch it, still makes it look great. All the mountains have gone. So that's it. So I hope that helped. Uh, if not, obviously, come and find me in the Discord. Link's going to be in the uh, description. I'm also streaming on Twitch. Come and ask over there or ask in the comments if there are any more tutorials that you want on specific things. Just let me know and I'll. Uh, Put them together. I also have two followers on TikTok, so you know, just saying. Bye bye.